Trump lost. He lost. This is real gelatria. This is real reality. Donald Trump lost the election. He lost bigly in a landslide. Trump lost. Who did he lose to? Joe Biden. Kamala Harris. Trump lost. He lost the election. Kamala Harris has been coronated, chosen as the first female president. That's what is represented. I hate Kamala Harris, but she's been chosen already. She's been given the crown by the establishment. She has been chosen to be president. She doesn't have to be picked. She doesn't have to win an election. It's a landslide loss for a Catholic president after the disastrous response to COVID-19. Playing golf, having rallies, discouraging wearing masks, discouraging social distancing, praising the transparency of China while this all came out, while he was discussing a trade deal with globalists and the Chinese. We will have a Jesuit Freemason president who will listen to the science and the experts instead of, I know what's best. I am the only expert. I don't need to attend any, any daily briefings. You know, America has been systematically dumbed down for years, and Donald Trump has just pretty much been showing people what's been happening. In the year 21, a Jesuit is going to be sworn in as president. The second Jesuit president. Both Catholic presidents will be enlightened Freemasons. We have the Kennedy family, and then we have Joe Biden. Remember that it's Kennedy that equals the 33rd degree of Masonry. Well, so will Joe Biden. Also, what Trump losing represents the fact that it would be the first Democratic president elected since the Chicago native Barack Obama. And his pick for president in that year is going to end up being the 46th president. As discussed before, the death of his first wife and daughter and the death of 46-year-old Hunter Biden has everything to do with Joe Biden winning this scripted election. You know what else is interesting? November the 3rd of 2020 is a date numerology of 54. Jesuit order as Dumatria of 54. The Jesuits won the presidency. Check out the video on Joe Biden's Lucky Day, Super Tuesday on St. Patrick's Day. Jesus resurrected from the death. Joe Biden's campaign was resurrected. You know, Joe Biden staying in the den. Well, you know why he's staying in the den? Donald Trump's mouth and inaction is enough to just hand the presidency to a guy who voted for Iraq and who voted for NAFTA and who voted to cut Social Security. How much of a loser do you have to be to lose to a guy who voted for Iraq and Social Security? A big giant loser. And that's what Donald Trump is. Biden staying in the den. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Joe Biden's going to win the election. He's going to be winning the election against Donald Trump. I believe it's Donald Trump itself. Or I think it's President Donald Trump that is Gematria of 95. Indeed, it does. President Donald Trump is really the worst of basic human decency. We've seen an unprecedented controlled opposition PSYOP campaign from the globalists to put a racist, bigot, misogynist, tax-cheating, tax-dodging. Clinton and Bush and all these people pay taxes, so this guy doesn't pay any taxes. In many ways, Donald Trump is worse than your typical president. The fact that he doesn't think it's okay to listen to opinions of other experts to think that he's the best guy in the room. That's not what you want for an American president. That's not what you want 
for the country who's supposed to be the leader of the so-called free world. You don't have a president. You have a dummy. You have a dumbed-down nation, and you have a banana republic. And in many ways, people think it's okay to have Joe Biden shows what's wrong with the system. Everything is wrong from the system, from MSNBC to CNN smearing Bernie Sanders, telling you that we need Joe Biden, we need pro-establishment, corporate economics again. This is what Joe Biden is. Biden is Biden. That's what is represented by his name, Joe Biden. Joe Biden is going to win the election. He's going to win the rigged election. Scripted election. Biden is winning because of COVID-19. Because of all of his actions toward this pandemic. Disbanding the CDC presence in China. Getting rid of the office in the White House. Refusing the social distance. Refusing to have rallies. Discouraging mask wearing. Downplaying COVID-19. Not listening to the experts. A complete clown. A clown that represents trailer trash and pride, prideful ignorance is what is represented by Donald Trump. And why do you suppose many Republicans endorse him? Because it's rid for no outs. Can you imagine what Donald Trump running as a populist, being an actor, playing the role of racist old white men does to any future populist? Every single future populist is going to be discredited because of this presidency of Trump. Oh, look, Donald Trump had no experience. He was terrible. This is all by design. This is all by design for Trump to be such a terrible president. And this guy is a puppet purposely being a terrible president. The elite know this. They don't want any outsiders. Donald Trump never challenged the system. Donald Trump was given money to these same establishment corporate Democrats and Republicans. This guy is the establishment. Donald Trump is the Illuminati. This is why Donald Trump is losing because he never wanted a second term. He never wanted a second term. Donald Trump is a complete Illuminati creation. Donald Trump gives himself the same benefits of the tax system as any billionaire out there. Even if he's losing money, the rigged tax system allows him to get to get away with paying with zero. This is what this guy represents. Donald Trump is the epitome of corruption. Joe Biden's the epitome of corruption. His presidency is terrible by design. To get you to think anyone but Trump. Anyone but Trump is great. But is it going to revolutionary? Is, is it going to revolution revolutionally change the system? It won't revolutionary change the system. You have someone who can show basic class and basic human decency, but you still have an establishment puppet. This guy, Donald Trump, just makes it harder for outsiders to be president. That's the reality of his presidency. It's rigged. No progressive. They did, Joe Biden didn't need any progressive to run as his running mate because Donald Trump allowed Joe Biden to pick any pro-establishment corporate puppet out there. 